And now we have news from the moon. It has water, but that's old news. Here's what's new. There's billions of tons of water on the moon. It is trapped in tiny glass beads. It could be extracted by astronauts on future missions. Does this mean we are one step closer to life on moon? Humans have been talking about building bases on the moon, tapping into sources of hydrogen and oxygen, exploring other precious resources. Science fiction is blurring into reality and it's yet another breakthrough for science. Here's a report. Scientists have found a new reservoir of water on the moon and this could be a game changer for mankind. We're talking about billions of tons of water, 279 billion tons to be specific. It is trapped in tiny glass beads spread across the lunar surface. Scientists say it can produce drinking water, breathable air, and even rocket fuel. This is one of the most exciting discoveries in the field. It helps us understand our nearest neighbor better and in a sustainable fashion. It also opens up countless avenues for research. Once this water is extracted, astronauts can use it on future lunar missions. The moon can be a habitat for space missions. Astronauts can also build bases on the moon, which they will use to head further into the solar system, something like a base for the mission to Mars. But this information does not come as a surprise. There have already been hints that the moon is not a wasteland. In 1990, NASA found evidence of frozen water. It was in craters near the moon's poles. In 2009, India took the next big step with the Chandrayaan-1 spacecraft. It spotted a thin layer of water on the surface. But for years now, scientists have wondered how water is stored on the moon, especially in regions outside the poles. Now, a team of Chinese scientists has the answer. They analyzed lunar soil samples, which they brought to Earth in 2020. The soil has fine glass beads. They're all smaller than a millimeter. They're formed when meteoroids slam into the moon and send up showers of molten droplets. These then solidify and mix into moon dust. With this research, it becomes much easier to extract the water. It is not lurking in deep craters anymore, which limited its extraction. The water may be everywhere, but remember, you can't just shake the soil to get the water out. The temperature needs to be increased above 100 degrees. And that's when water can be harvested. The study also confirms that there is a water cycle on the moon. And that the moon doesn't just have water, but also oxygen and hydrogen. This discovery completely expands the potential for exploring the moon, which space agencies are itching to do. It has been about half a century since humans last walked on the moon. Now NASA is preparing for a return in 2025. They want to put astronauts on the moon. So does China. They want to do it by 2030. Meanwhile, a European space agency wants to build a moon village. Others also want to create off-world bases. This research brings them all a step closer to their plans. But for these dreams to come true, many challenges have to be overcome. How can this water be gathered in a sustainable fashion? Who will do it and how will the water be used? Research is underway and with growing international interest, it won't be long before these questions are answered. But for now, this discovery itself has been a giant leap for mankind.